one is doing is trying to pull that finally the city government is going from doing the gardens just in the way of development and wanting to destroy them to make way for development to viewing them as a form of sustainable development and model for the future. That's a uh, sign of things finally beginning to at least tentatively move in the right direction. Okay, with that, let's go out this way. catchment system on top. Okay, today, this is illegal gardens. It's in the Green Thumb program. It's still get water from the city. You might have seen the pipe that feeds water into the pond. Uh, but for uh, the first 15 years or so, this was not a legal garden. It was an outlaw garden. It was a road garden. The garden that we were just in, the Ninth Street Garden, the first one, um, that was actually one of the very first gardens in the, um, in the city which was part of the Green Thumb program. So this was not. We had to fight for 15 years to get this garden legal. City said they had other plans for the site and wanted to build a, um, a housing complex here, and they wouldn't utilize the garden. So, for those first 15 years or so, uh, in order to get water, the garden was built with gazebo, which has got the rain catchment system on top. The rain gets caught in the gutters, comes down the pipe, drops down into the barrel. There's mesh netting on top to keep out the debris, keep it from becoming a breeding ground for mosquitoes, and the water comes out the spigot and can be collected and still is to water the um, community garden site. Finally, uh, in... Uh